Hi, this is John Malvey from My Bookkeeper Software. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to receive credit card payments on your invoices. So the first step in being able to do that is you need to set up an account with a merchant service. And the easy way to do that is from the Bookkeeper homepage. There's a link here that if you click it, will bring you to a website for the merchant service. And you can follow the steps there to be able to create the account. Once the account's been created, you'll receive credential information that needs to get entered into Bookkeeper so that Bookkeeper knows that any credit card payments will link to this merchant and process that way. So to set that up, go from the menu, go to Company, Manage Current Company Information. There's a Merchant Account tab here where you'll enter all the information that's been given to you. All right, so once you have that set up, and that's saved. Now, for this company, Bookkeeper will know that any credit card payments will be done through this merchant. So I've set up a couple of invoices already, so I'm just going to go right to receive payments. I'm going to pull up this customer, enter a payment amount, select the invoice, and now under payment method, when I click on credit card, because the merchant account is set up, it's automatically going to create with the merchant services. I'm just going to connect with them and give me a window to be able to enter in the credit card information. And so I'm just going to enter some test information here. And click Submit. And the transaction is successful. And so now the charge has been made you know, through the merchant. I'm going to save it here. It's going to apply to the invoice and mark that as paid in full. Okay. So now, Bookkeeper knows if I need to do a return, it has information to be able to connect with the merchant and do the return. We'll show that a little bit later. But one more step I wanted to show you is for situations where uh, the credit card payment maybe has been declined. So I'm going to go back to this customer. I'm just going to enter a, a payment amount, just something to test with. I'm going to go back to that same screen again. click submit and then in this case here the transaction is declined um, and this is just because for testing purposes this amount I know will get declined but when this happens it's important that you still save this transaction because bookkeeper keeps a log of all the connections that you make with this merchant service so even if it's declined what you want to do is click on save bookkeeper knows that it's been declined and it says "Oh, okay uh, it's been declined I'm gonna reset the payment amount to zero all right, so you take away the payment amount here, so it still shows the transaction hasn't been applied yet. And now you can do what you need to. Maybe you need to, you know, contact, uh, you know, be able to get new information on the credit card to be able to re-enter it or something like that. But right now, this payment can't be saved. Um, but Bookkeeper knows that an attempt was made to be able to charge that, and I, that's the important thing. Okay, so. Either way, if you make any kind of connection with the merchant, whether it's successful or decline, you will always want to save from that window. It's very important. Okay, so I'm going to close out of here and say no. And then on that invoice that I paid successfully, I want to show you how to be able to do a return. So I'm just going to go and find that particular invoice. Maybe that was this guy. All right, and if I want to do a return, all right, so I click on return. I'm just going to return everything. And now Bookkeeper knows that a credit card payment was made for this. So I'm going to say, yeah, I want my refund on the credit card. And I'm just going to click OK. It's going to connect with the merchant based on a, a transaction ID that Bookkeeper knows about. It's going to you know, make that uh, successful uh, refund. It's marked as approved and you get confirmation that has been credited back to the customer's credit card. And that's it. So that is how you accept credit card payments through a merchant service and how you do a return. So thanks for watching and thanks for being a bookkeeper customer.